as the party's leader at Monday's meeting in Cape Town. This comes after the ANC National Executive Committee informed Fransman that he should step aside while a complaint of sexual harassment against him was being investigated. Fransman's fate as leader of the ANC in the Western Cape Legislature also hangs in the balance. He's feeling the party's wrath after a 20-year-old Stellenbosch girl laid a charge of sexual harassment against him earlier this month. The provincial leadership will have to decide on that guided by the constitution. The constitution of the ANC does guide in an instance where the chairperson or the secretary in his absence, they are keeping to. But there will be a discussion, I suppose, the PEC will have to take a decision on that. Analysts say the ANC is obliged to do damage control by suspending Fransman. Certainly any scandal of any sort, uh, sexual, political, financial, is uh, disastrous for a political party in an election year. So it will seek to deal with it and get it out of the way, one way or the other, as soon as possible. It's not clear who will replace Fransman as interim provincial chair, but party sources suggest his deputy Kaya Makaka is likely to take over the reins. Manilis, Tubasa, SABC News, Parliament. Sentencing proceedings of the killers of Mozambican street vendor.